magandang umaga muli sa ating lahat at mamalamig na Thursday. Malamig na po sa Bagyo. Kumusta po ang ating Thursday? So bago po tayo mag-umpisa sa ating devotion, let us pray. Magpakailangmang Diyos, pinupuri at pinapasalamatan ka namin. Patawarin mo po kami sa aming nagawa at naisip na di kaaya-aya sa iyo. Salamat po sa kapatawaran, pag-ibig at mga biyaya mo sa amin araw-araw. Dalangin po namin na ang iyong salita ngayon ay magbigay kalakasan sa amin na magpatuloy ng may katatagan sa aming pananampalataya. Ang iyong santong espiritu ang siyang mangusap at gumalaw sa, sa araw na ito. Sa iyo po ang lahat ng papuri at kadakilaan. Itong aming talangin sa makapangyarihang pangalan ni Yesu Kristo. Amen. May time ba sa buhay nyo na tinanong nyo na uh, ano, kung ano ang boses ng ating Panginoon? Ako noon talagang dinesire kong audibly na mapakinggan ang boses ng Diyos kasi nag curious ako kung ano ang how it it was. So, one time na I was very busy that time na katatapos ko pong naligo tapos tapos wala na pong tao sa bahay mag-isa ako lang mag, uh, mag-isa lang ako sa bahay tapos may narin, narinig ko yung na pangalan ko na talagang um, buong buo yung pangalan ko tapos napalingon na lang ako tinignan ko naman sa kapitbahay namin wala namang tao ako lang po ang tao sa bahay kahit sa palingkit ko wala namang tao so so sinabi ko to sa pastor namin noon doon sa Kasibo sabi ko ano ba ang boses ay sinabi ko tong boses na narinig ko sabi ko dapat sinagot mo So, past days, narinig ko ulit after may, mga one week siguro yon na nasa trabaho ako. Tapos, I was very busy that then na I'm processing the papers for signing mga documents. So, I pumunta ako ng office to office for that signature. So, narinig ko ulit yung pangalan ko, dalawang beses. At ngayon, sinagot ko siya pero ang sagot ko sabi ko, Yes, I'm coming back. Yun yung sinagot ko. Tapos nung after after ng transaction transaction ko sa isang office, bumalik ako sa office na yun, sabi ko. Sa um, sabi ko, "Ate, um tinawag mo ba ako?" Sabi ko ganoon. Eh, hindi, hindi kita tinawag. And that time was everybody is busy kasi Lunes na Lunes yun. Sabi ko, alam tapos nung bumalik ako sa office, alam kong boses yun ni Lord kasi I was desiring to hear audibly yung boses talaga niya kung ano ang ano paano ba siya maki, paano ba kasi sa Old Testament niya puro naririnig nila audibly yung boses ni Lord so ganun pala ang boses niya very uh, kahit uh, kahit maingay sa paligid mo nagtatap pa rin yung boses na yon at very soft uh, very audibly talaga naririnig mo as in saka very soft siya and hindi masyadong kahit malakas siya hindi yung normal na naririnig natin na boses. Ganun po. Uh, hanggang hindi ako pa makarinig na ganun boses. So, that's that's how I experience nung narinig ang boses ng Panginoon. Okay. So, pasahin natin sa Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 21. Whether you turn to the right or to the left, your ears will hear a voice Behind you saying, this is the way, walk in it. So, ito yung sinasabi sa Isaiah. Kung basahin natin ng Isaiah 30 to 31, in-explain dito na si, this is Isaiah's message of warning to the people of Judah na they are considering making alliance with Egypt to protect themselves away from the Assyrian army. Kasi they are attack, uh, inatak sila ng mga Assyrian, aatakain sila ng mga Assyrian army. So, ang ang king dito before was Hezekiah. So, makipag uh, aliado siya sa mga sa Egypt, sa, sa Egypt para talunin ang Assyrian army. So, ju- during this time of prophet Isaiah, the Israelite had continually turned from following God and they suffered the consequences of their disobedience. They refused to listen. God's command, commandments and direction. 
So kahit may profit sila nun na sinasabi ganun, hindi, hindi sila nakikinig, they refuse to listen. So this resulted in punishment. So they have punished. So, but God gives the Israelites a wonderful, encouraging promise. Nagbigay si Lord ng promise. Ito nga, sa Isaiah 30-21. Na that if they would turn from their disobedience, God would show them mercy and grace. So God promised to guide them on their difficult journey. So God promised them that those who would listen, their ears would hear a word behind them, saying, This is the way. Walk in it. Yun po yung promise ni Lord sa mga Israelites if they will turn away from their disobedience and follow God. But this promise of God is for us too. Uh, yung promise ni God sa mga Israelites, promise din ni Lord sa atin. Now, so Israelites, mga Israelites try to defeat the Assyrian army by seeking help from other from others like the Egypt instead of placing their trust in God. So, hindi pa rin, hindi sila nakinig talagang they seek help from uh, they seek help help from Egypt. So, yun. So, they did not trust in the Lord and following his direction. Even sinasabi ni Isaiah. So, this wasn't good choice. And it didn't end well. Po, kung mabasa natin sa, sa, mga, sa susunod na chapter, they have been defeated by the Assyrian army. So, yun po, na hindi sila nakinig sa sa boses ng Panginoon. At nakinig, at nagsik pa rin sila ng help sa Assyrian, which is that's not the plan of the Lord. Nagsik pa rin sila, sorry, sa Egypt, sa, sa soldiers, Egyptian soldiers sa Egypt. So, yun po, pe, pe, but, Sabi nga, don't, uh, para sa atin is warning na don't be like Israel, the Israelites. So let us make a better choice and listen for God's voice and direction. So, yung nangyari po yon after nang the defeat sila ng Assyrian, of course maraming namatay na maraming plan, plunder na nangyari sa Israel. Si, uh, si Hezekiah, King Hezekiah prayed to God, now he seek the Lord. And the angel of God put, nung nagsiksas kay Lord, ito ang ginawa ng Panginoon. And the angel of God put death, 185,000 men in the Assyrian camp. So, the, the, the Lord sent help na tinulungan si King Hezekiah after siyang nagpray that time. So, mula nung nakita ni ng King ng Assyrian, uh, itong nangyari so he fled from he fled from he fled to Nineveh so pumunta siya dun so yun iniwan niya is Israel so yun po ang nangyari kung hindi tayo makikinig sa Panginoon talagang it end uh, hindi maganda yung it, it will not end well yung ating patutunguhan kung tayo ay hindi makikinig sa Panginoon but yung promise niya if we listen the Lord we, we will hear the voice of the Lord this is what you will take. This is the path you will take. So where is God found? Where is God found? So when, so kung ang uh, when events of life force us out of active service, kung talagang na preparation na tayo sa life, kung ano man ang nangyari sa atin, kung ano, that it force us, it force, uh, na, it force us, it, sorry. It forced us out of active service into a desert place of solitude. Gusto na lang natin mag-isa kasi yung mga nararanasan natin na sorrow or suffering. But do not despair. Look up in faith. And you will find God with all manner of strength and sustenance for us. Kagaya rin yung ginawa ni King Hezekiah. He prayed desperately. At tignan nyo naman ang nangyari. He sent angels and put death to 185,000 men in the Assyrian camp. Ganun po rin ang mayari sa atin. So, wag po tayong mawalan ng pag-asa. We have to cling in God's promise that if we listen to Him, if we obey His commands, if we look 
up to him. He will rescue us. He will help us. So let us pray. Magnificent God, we thank you for your voice, your direction, that we will walk in your ways. Help us, O oh God, to listen to you and obey your still, small voice. Open our spiritual ears to listen to your voice, saying, This is the way. Walk in it. Bless each everyone who's watching and listening today. Speak into their mind and heart. When life becomes tough and hard to make right decision, help us, O Lord, that we will come into our knees and seek, Lord, your help. We will call upon your name and you will answer us and you will show us the right path to take. Help us, O Lord, in our daily decision making that our decision, whether big or small, will glorify you. We love you, Lord. And we commit to you everything into your hands today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.